Our topic for today will be all about premiums and warranties. Okay? So, we'll start with premiums. So, what are these premiums? Premiums are actually articles of value such as uh, toys, dishes, silverware, and other goods, and in some cases, even cash payments no? given to customers as a result of past sales or sales promotion activities. So, sir, uh, na-experience ko na ba yan? More likely than not, yes. Right, na-experience mo na yan. Sir, papaano? Isn't it sa tindahan ni Aling Nena, no? kung may tindahan sa inyo, minsan may mga nakikita kang posters. Sir, yung mga posters na yan, hindi yun yung mga posters ng mga alak at tapos may mga kalendary, no? Ibang posters sa yung tinitingnan mo, no? Pero yung mga posters na nakikita ko sa tindahan, no? Yun yung mga pagbibili ka ng soft drinks, for example, kapag nagbalik ka ng sampung tansan, eh bibigyan ka ng cup. Pag nakapagbalik ka ng 100 na tansan, bibigyan ka ng jacket, etc., etc. So, yun yung tinatawag actually natin na premium. So, premium, ito yung mga binibigay ng isang kumpanya sa isang customer kapalit right, ng pagbili ng customer na yun sa atin. So, para may stimulate natin yung sales or para maparami natin yung ating sales, normally we are giving away premiums. Maliwanag ba? So, dito sa premium, si Tweet na meron lang tayong tatlong problema, no? So, sir, ano po yung tatlong problema natin dito? Una is yung computation ng premium expense. Once again, first, will be the computation, no? Of premium expense. Pangalawa is yung computation ng estimated premium liability. Liability. Then, pangatlo is yung tinatawag natin na uh, premium inventory, no? So, meron tayong computation ng premium inventory din at the end of the year. Okay? So, we'll start with premium expense. So, how do we compute premium expense? So, para makompute, no, yung premium expense na tinatawag, kailangan mong i-multiply ang dalawang bagay. Sir, ano yung dalawang bagay na yon? Una is yung expected number of premiums. Again, number one will be the expected number of premiums. Okay? To be, to be, Mali spelling. Okay? To be distributed during the year. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga ina-expect nating ma-distribute during the year or, or as a result of the sales during the year. Maluanag ba? Then, imumultiply natin yan saan? We will multiply this dun sa tinatawag po natin na premium expense per unit. Are we good? So, alamin ngayon natin kung papaano kinukompute no? yan dalawang yan. Start tayo sa expected number of premiums to be distributed as a result of current year sales. No? So dito, para makompute yan, kailangan mo munang malaman yung number of units sold during the year. No? So yung num from the number of units sold, imumultiply natin dyan yung anin, alin. Imumultiply natin dyan yung ating expectations. Sir, what do you mean by that? Well, hindi po kasi lahat ng customer ay eh, nakikipag-participate dyan. May mga customer na walang pakialam dyan sa activity na yan, dyan sa promotional activity mo na yan. So, hindi porket nakapagbenta ka ng 100,000 na bote, eh, 100,000 na tansa na yung babalik sa'yo. Minsan, right, may mga customer na walang pakialam dyan sa, sa promotion na yan. And so, therefore, meron tayong expectation. No? This expectation is in the form of a percentage. Let's say, 60% lang ng unit sold ang inaasahan nating bumalik or 70% lang or 80%. Yung expectation na yan obviously based po yan sa ating past experience. We good? So, malalaman ngayon natin dito kapag pinagmultiply mo dalawa yung number of coupons na inaasahan nating bumalik sa atin or babalik sa atin, no? Now, i-divide natin yan. Once again, i-divide po natin yan sa number of coupons required have one, no? Kasi hindi naman ano eh, hindi naman one is to one. Well, pwedeng one is to one, pero madalas, kailangan bago, ba, bago tayo magbigay ng isang cup, ng isang mug, or ng isang jacket sa customer, eh may kapalit yon hindi lang isang tansan. Normally, sampung tansan, isang daang tansan, benten tansan, etc. etc. no? So, yung number of coupons na inaasahan natin babalik sa atin, I-divide natin yan doon sa number of coupons. Kapag sinabing coupons, yun yung palatandaan, no? yun yung proof. Let's say, kung bote man yan, well, that's the tansan. If candy man yan, pwedeng candy wrapper. Ano pa? If uh, sales man yan, well, pwede yung resibo na mismo. 
if sigarilyo yan, syempre pwede yung kaha, etc., etc., ano? So, i-divide natin yun dun sa number of coupons required para malaman natin, finally, yung expected number of premiums na ipapamigay natin as a result of the current year sales. No? So, yun yung unang bagay na kailangan mong malaman. Pangalawa, papaano kinukompute yung premium expense per unit? No? So, premium expense per unit will be equal to the cost of premium. Again, this is equal no? to the cost of premium. Ano pa yung ina-add dito? Ina-add po natin dyan yung other cost. Sir, ano yung other cost na yan? Other cost, pwede dito pumasok yung handling cost shipping cost or yung storage cost no and then minsan kapalit ng isang jacket meron tayong hinihingi na pera aside sa coupons ha once again aside sa coupons humihingi tayo ng remittance or ng pera from a customer and so therefore any remittance no once again any remittances coming from the customer will be deducted nagkakaintindihan ba tayo doon hopefully we're good on that no so kapag na-deduct mo na ngayon once again Kapag na-detect mo na yung remittance, which is, sabihin na nating equal sa XX, right? Since mahilig ka naman sa X, yun ko lang, right? Makukumpute na natin si premium expense per unit, right? So, kapag alam mo na yung expected number of premiums to be distributed during the year, as well as, no, the premium expense per unit, you're good to go. Kasi kailangan mo lang i-multiply yung dalawa, makukumpute na po natin yung tinatawag natin na premium expense during the year. Are we good? So, that's the first problem. No? That's the computation of premium expense. Now, punta tayo sa pangalawang problem. That's the computation of the estimated premium liability at the end of the year. Right? So, para makumpute yan, start tayo of course sa estimated premium liability at the beginning. Yan yung mga premiums na natira last year, no? Na hindi na-distribute last year. Then, i-add po natin dyan yung premium expense natin during the year. So, sir, ibig mo bang sabihin kapag mali yung premium expense ko, mamamali na din yung estimated premium liability ko at the end? Uh, more likely than not, yes, mamamali na rin yun. That's why you have to be very careful here, no? Then, ididak lang naman natin dyan. Once again, ang ididak lang, lang naman natin dyan is yung, right, premium distributed during the year because during the year, possible na nakapag-distribute tayo eh. Nagigets? Then that's it. That's actually the estimated premium liability at the end of the year. And part po yan ng ating total current liabilities. Again, magiging part po yan ng total current liabilities natin. Maliwanag? So dito, Madalas ang pagkakamali is yung pinakauna, nakakalimutan ng mga bata na possible na may estimated premium liability at the beginning. Because madalas, hindi na binibigyan ng problem, no? hindi na nagbibigay yung problem ng beginning balance. Sinasabi na lang ng problem, kakastart lang yan during the year. That is why, madalas, ang akala nilang computation is premium expense minus premium distributed. And then that's it, that's the estimated premium liability at the end. Mali yun, kulang yun. Because possible na meron tayong beginning balances kasi ng premium liability. And if that's the case, kailangan din natin yung i-consider. Very good? Also, pagdating sa premium distributed na binabawas dyan, see to it na yan yung number of premiums. No? Again, this is actually equal to the number of premiums actually distributed. Again, actually distributed during the year. Iba po yan dun sa expectation na kinumpute natin kanina. So, number of premiums actually distributed during the year, multiply mo lang yan sa premium expense natin per unit. And then, that's it. That's the amount, right? That will be deducted from our computation, okay? So, that's the second problem here on premiums. Then, the last problem will be the premium inventory. And here, see to it na, gang gagamitin po natin standard will be IAS number 2, which is inventories. No? Pasok siya sa inventories natin. Very good? So, paano yan computing ngayon? Well, this is just equal to the beginning inventory. Again, this is just equal no? to the beginning inventory. Ia-add natin dyan yung cost of premiums purchased. Right? Because possible na bumili tayo ng premiums during the year. No? Bumili tayo ng mug, ng jacket, or ng kung ano man. Then, ibabawas po natin dyan alin. Ibabawas natin dyan yung cost of premium distributed. Right? Then that's it. This is actually the ending inventory of premiums or the ending premium inventory. Nagigets? 
So ngayon, listen very carefully because iba to, no? Dito sa computation natin ng premium inventory, asahan mo na yung tatlong item dyan, once again, yung tatlong items po dyan, ang gagamitin po natin multiplier dyan will not be the premium expense per unit. Again, hindi po premium expense per unit ang multiplier natin dito, ha? Well, dun sa computation ng estimated premium liability at premium expense, premium expense per unit tayo. Pero sa premium inventory computation, si it na hindi po yan ang ginagamit. Sir, ano yung ginagamit natin? Ang ginagamit po natin dyan will just be the cost. Once again, will just be what? Will just be the cost of the premiums. Liwanag? At kapag sinabi natin cost of the premiums, this is equal. Right? Or this is inclusive of what? Inclusive of other cost. At yung other cost na yan, yun yung nabanggit ko kanina. No? Ano nga ulit yung mga other cost na to? Well, these are actually the shipping. Pag nag-incur tayo ng shipping, ano pa? Storage or handling cost, no? So, ang ibig sabihin ngayon, hindi natin binabawas. Once again, hindi po natin dyan binabawas yung remittance. Yun lang naman ang pinagkaiba ng premium expense per unit at nung tinatawag natin cost of the premium. Because sa premium expense per unit, remittances are deducted. Pero sa computation ng cost of the premium, right, hindi na natin dinidock pa yung remittance. Ang ginawa lang natin is yung cost of premium, ina natin doon yung other cost. And then that's it, no? Are we good? So, to illustrate premiums, no? Let's move on here in illustrative problem number one. So, what are the requirements? Number one, what is the premium expense for the current year? Then number two, what amount should be reported as liability for unredeemed coupons at year end? So, here in illustrative problem number one, right? During the current year, Pepper Company sold 500,000 boxes of cake mix under a new sales promotional program. So, 500,000 boxes ang nabenta natin. Ha? Each box contained one coupon which entitled the customer to a baking pan upon remittance of 40 pesos. Okay? So, we are asking a remittance of 40 pesos from a customer. No? So, here the entity paid, once again here, the entity paid 50 pesos per pan, then 5 pesos for handling and shipping, and estimated that 80% of the coupons would be redeemed, even though only 300,000 coupons had been processed during the year. Okay? So, dito, si to it na 1 is to 1, no? 1 coupon kapalit ng isang baking pan. Maluanag? So, tinatanong number 1, premium expense for the current year. Once again, dalawa ang kailangan natin dyan, no? So, compute muna natin yung expected number of premiums uh, that will be distributed as a result of current year sales. Maliwanag? So, dito, ilan ba yung sales natin in units? Sales in units is actually equal to 500,000 boxes. Ilan ang expectation natin? We are expecting that only 80% no, will be back. So, times 80%. So, ilan lang yung number of coupons na babalik sa atin? Number of coupons will be equal to 500,000 times 0.8 or that's equal to 400,000 coupons. I-divide natin yan sa required number number of coupons required to have one premium. No? E sabi ng problem, each box contain one coupon which entitled the customer to a baking pan. So, 1 is to 1 tayo dito. Ibig sabihin, number of right, premiums to be distributed. Again, number of premiums to be distributed now will be equal to 400,000. Now, compute natin yung premium expense per unit. Paano nga ulit yung i-compute? That's the cost of the premium which is equal to 50 plus other cost, no? So, here meron tayong handling and shipping cost which is equal to 5. Then, minus the remittance which is equal to how much is the remittance? The remittance is equal to 40 pesos. So, ang ibig sabihin dito, we have premium expense per unit which is equal to how much? 50 plus 5 minus 40 or that's equal to 15 pesos. Very good. Once again, multiplying the number of premiums to be distributed as a result of current year sales and the premium expense per unit, we'll able to compute that premium expense during the year, which is equal to how much? 400,000 times 15, or this is actually equal to 6 million pesos. So, requirement number one, what is the premium expense for the current year? 6 million or choice letter alpha will be our final answer. Wanag? 
Punta ngayon tayo sa number 2. Number 2, what amount should be reported as liability for unredeemed coupons at year end? So, estimated premium liability naman, no? So, here, ano nga ulit yung computation? Well, we'll start with the estimated premium liability at the beginning. Kaso, current year lang nag-start yung promotional uh, program na yan. That is why, estimated premium liability at the beginning will be equal to zero. We're good? Pero huwag ka lagi magpapakasanay ng zero yan, ha? Once again, possible na merong beginning balance. Add natin dyan yung premium expense, which is equal to 6 million pesos. Then, deduct natin yung premium actually distributed, no? So, magkano or ilan yung actual premium na na-distribute para makompute na natin finally yung estimated premium liability natin at the end of the year. So, dito, sabi ng problem, 300,000 coupons had been processed, no? So, nakapag-distribute tayo ng 300,000 times, right, ilan? Once again, divided by 1 mo pa to kung gusto mo. Kasi, 1 coupon lang na kailangan in exchange of 1 premium, eh. Okay? Pero 300,000 din na makakompute mo din. Mumultiply natin yan sa premium expense per unit, which is equal to 15 pesos. So, 300,000 times 15, this is actually equal to 4.5 million. So, the estimated premium liability now at the end of the year will be equal to 1.5 million pesos. So, number 2, bravo is our final answer again. Requirement number 2, our final answer will be choice letter bravo. So, that's premiums. Very good. Now, punta po tayo sa warranties. No? Uh, warranties. Okay. So, kapag sinabi natin warranties, these are actually what? Alam naman natin to eh. These are guarantee. Or, sabi na natin warranty itself to provide what? Free repair service or replacement during a specified period if the products we sold to the customers are actually what? Are actually defective. So, kapag nagbenta tayo no, ng defective products, normally babalik sa atin right, yung product na nabenta natin. So, it's either is a service mo yun or right, papalitan mo mismo yun. Nagigets ba? So, kapag bumili ka ng relo, may warranty yan. Pag bumili ka ng kotse, may warranty yan. Pag bumili ka ng laptop, may warranty yan. Halos lahat ng bagay na binibili natin, as long as binili mo yan, no, sa legit na seller, may warranty po yan. Maliwanag ba? So, yung mga entity, right, uh, ngayon, na nag-offer ng warranty, normally, right, yung policy na yun, nag involve ng significant cost on the part of that company. Bakit? Because kapag na-prove natin no, na yung mga products sold right, are actually defective, see to it na kailangan natin mag-incur ng cost. Nagigets ba? Pero, since uh, the timing nung pagbalik sa atin ng mga sira or ng mga defective goods na nabenta natin, and then yung amount na gagastusin natin is uncertain, see to it now that warranties is an example of a provision. Again, this is an example of a provision because once again, provision is an obligation, no? With uncertain timing and event. Nagigets ba? So, dito, paano ngayon tayo mag-compute ng warranties or ano yung mga problema natin sa warranties? Well, dalawa lang ang problema natin sa warranties, no? So, ano yung dalawang problema na yun? Number one is yung tinatawag natin na warranty expense. Again, number one is the computation of the warranty expense. The number two is the computation of the estimated warranty liability at the end of the year. Luanag? So, wala bang inventory dyan? Wala. Ay, di naman tayo nagbibigay dito ng premium eh. Nagigets? So, dito, punta muna tayo sa computation ng warranty expense. So, always remember, no, na warranty expense is based on what? Is always based on current year sales. So, lagi mo yan tatandaan, na. Right? na yung warranty expense dapat always mo siyang i-base sa current year sales. Sir, sir, paano kapag yung sales given pang next year? Next year mo na i-recognize yung warranty expense because yung warranty expense na i-recognize lang natin for the year pertains to the current year sales. Maliwanag? Also, this is computed based on what? Based on past experience. Sir, what do you mean by that? Well, pwede yan na maging right, uh, peso amount per unit sold or pwede rin kasi siyang maging percentage of sale, uh, selling price or sales. Maliwanag ba? So, ibig sabihin kapag warranty ang pinag-uusapan, right, wala tayong fix na computation dito. Kailangan mong tignan sa problem kung ano ba yung past experience ni company with regards to warranties, no? Because pwede siyang maging peso or certain amount 
per unit sold or pwede rin siya maging percentage ng sales. Maluanag. Pero lagi mo lang tatandaan, yung warranty expense for the year dapat pertaining lang siya sa current year sales. Ha? Next, punta tayo sa pangalawa. Oh. That's the estimated warranty liability at the end. So, paano naman yan kinocompute? Well, start ulit tayo no, sa estimated warranty liability at the beginning. So, sir, bakit may ganyan? Normally, wala naman ganyan. Ha? Because normally, yung mga problems kaka-start lang uh, sa current year, yung warranty program nila. That's why, wala tayong beginning. Pero, that's not always true, no? Why? Because minsan, sa mga problems, especially, no, yung mga problems na gustong itest kung alam mo talaga yung concept, eh, nagbibigay ng beginning balance. So, if that's the case, right, kailangan natin yung i-consider, okay? Then, ia-add po natin dyan yung warranty expense natin during the year. And then, i-deduct lang natin dyan yung what? I-deduct lang natin dyan yung actual warranty cost incurred. Sir, ano yan? Yan yung actual na cost na na-incur natin due to warranties, no? Then, apparently, that is already the estimated warranty liability at the end of the year. Again, this is now the computation of the estimated warranty liability at the end of the year. Sir, possible bang mag-negative yan? Hindi po possible. So, kapag negative na na-compute mo dyan, estimated warranty liability at the end will be equal to zero. Sir, possible mangyari yun? Possible yun kapag kulang. Right? Yung naging ginamit natin na expectation because possible na yung amount na warranty expense na i-recognize natin is kulang talaga because once again, estimate lang to eh uncertain yung amount na magagastos natin. Maluanag ba? Pero, ano na yun, mga rare cases na nangyayari yung mga yun. Okay? So, to illustrate warranties now, please go to illustrative problem number 2. No? So, here, in illustrative problem number 2, Pepper Company sells computers for 20,000 pesos each and also gives each customer a 3-year warranty. Ba't bumalik? Right? A 3-year. Bakit? Gumagana. Sorry na. A 3-year warranty that requires the company to perform specific services and to replace defective parts. No? Next, during 2025, the company sold 500 computers and based on past experience, the company estimated that the total 3-year warranty cost as 120 pesos for parts and 150 pesos for labor for a total of 170 pesos per unit. No? Wanag? Next, in 2025 as well, Pepper Company incurred actual warranty cost relative to 2025 computer sales of 5,404 parts and 12,604 labor or the total actual warranty cost incurred. Warranty cost incurred will be equal to how much? That's equal to 54 plus 12,6 or this is equal to 18,000 pesos. So, requirement number one, the amount of warranty Expense reported in 2025 is how much? Once again, based on past experience, 170 per unit ang nagagastos natin per unit sold, no? Ibig sabihin ngayon, if we sold a total of 500 computers, once again, units sold is equal to 500 computers. And then, we are expecting, no, na ang magagastos natin per computer is 170 pesos. See to it now that the total warranty expense for the year will be equal to how much? This is 500 times 170 or this is equal to 85,000 pesos. So, requirement number 1, 85,000 is our final answer. Ganun lang yun kadali guys. Okay? Number 2, the amount reported under estimated warranty liability is how much? Well, we'll start with estimated warranty liability at the beginning always yun. Ha? Well, dito, 0 kasi wala namang given. Eh. Diba nag? Next, i-add natin dyan yung warranty expense na na-compute natin which is equal to 85,000. Then once again, i-deduct po natin dyan yung actual warranty cost incurred natin which is as computed, that's equal to 18,000. No? So the estimated warranty liability now at the end of the year will be equal to how much? That's 85,000 minus 18,000 or this is actually equal to 67,000 pesos. So, requirement number 2, 67,000 will be our final answer. Okay? So, hopefully, nakakasunod ka pa, no? Nakapunta tayo dito sa illustrative problem number 3. 
During 2024, Rain Company introduced a new product carrying a two-year warranty against defects. No? 2024 yun nag-start. The estimated warranty cost related to peso sales are 3% within 12 months following the sale, then 5% in the second 12 months so the total expectation now will be 8% of sales no once again it will be 8% of sales next anong sabi dito sales and actual warranty cost or warranty expenditures for the years ended December 31 2024 and 2025 are as follows so for the year 2024 and 2025 sales are 5 million and 8 million pesos respectively the actual warranty cost incurred will be 100,000 and 600,000 for 2024 and 2025 respectively. We good? Ngayon, let's compute magkano yung warranty expense. So here sales natin nakabase sa sales this time kanina sa unit sold. So sales natin for the year 2024 is equal to 5 million pesos. Well, for the year 2025, sabay na natin because sanay ka namang pinagsasabay sila. Tama ba? So, hindi ka mahihirapan dito. Sanay na sanay kang pagsabay ng dalawa eh. Ganyan ka eh. So, dito, 2025, sales is 8 million pesos. Multiply natin to sa expectation natin which is once again equal to 8%. No? So, once again, kahit na yung 5%, may incur pa lang natin yun on the second 12 months following sale. Si to it na i-expense natin yun sa 2024 or kung saan nangyari yung sales. Maliwanag? Because dapat matching principle palagi. Kung saan nangyari yung sales, doon dapat i-recognize yung expense regardless kung kailan natin yan ini-expect. Right? Ma-incur. Okay? So the warranty expense na, once again, the warranty expense for the year 2024 will be equal to 5 million times 8% or this is equal to 400,000. Then for the year 2025, that's 8 million no? times 8% or this is equal to 640,000. So requirement number 2, Rain Company's warranty expense for the year 2024 is, obviously, the final answer is 400,000. The number 4, Rain Company's warranty expense for the year 2025, final answer will be equal to 640,000. Okay? Now let's compute their estimated warranty liability, no? So, here, start ulit tayo sa estimated warranty liability at the beginning. Wag, mong, wag na wag mong kakalimutan yan, ha? So, meron tayong 2024 and then 2025, okay? So, for the year 2024, that's zero. Bakit zero? Because apparently, right, kaka-start lang ng 2024, eh, yung program na yun. Now, ia-add po natin dyan yung warranty expense, no? For the year 2024, warranty expense is 400,000. For the year 2025, that's equal to 640,000. Then, i-deduct natin yung actual warranty cost incurred. Okay? So, for the year 2024, actual warranty cost incurred is equal to 100,000. But for the year 2025, that's equal to 600,000. So, the estimated warranty liability now at the end of 2024 will be equal to 0 plus 400 minus 100 or that's equal to 300,000. So requirement 1, Rain Company's estimated warranty liability at December 31, 2024. Our final answer is 300,000. Wanag? The number 3, Rain Company's estimated warranty liability at December 31, 2025 is how much? Well, dito, wag na wag mong isasagot yung 40,000. Ah. Diyan tayo malalagot, guys. Because once again, hindi yan laging zero. Since 2024, nangyari or nag-start yung program, asahan mo na may beginning tayo sa 2025. Sir, ano yun? That's actually the estimated warranty liability at the end of 2024. So, kapag nakalimutan mo yun, no? Nakalimutan mong i-consider yung pang 2024, lagot ka na dito, 40,000 ang isasagot mo. So, yun yung madalas na nakakalimutan. So, lagi mo tatandaan that the estimated warranty liability at the end of last year will be automatically the beginning estimated warranty liability for this year. Okay? So, 300,000 plus 640,000 then minus 600,000 our estimated premium, I mean warranty liability at the end of 2025 now will be equal to 340,000. So, that's illustrative problem number three. Okay? 
Now, para mas maging comprehensive, no, yung discussion natin, sabi ko nga, right, sulitin na natin since, right, uh, nagbibigay naman na ako, na ako ng oras sa, right, pagtuturo for free, right, dito sa YouTube, so, eh, sulitin na natin, no, discuss na tayo ng mga problems na possible lumabas sa CPA licensure exam, right? So, these illustrative problems, ito it, is one of the problems, right, that is given in the actual CPA licensure exam. So, try ngayon natin to sagutan, no? So, Pokemon Music Emporium carries a wide variety of music promotion techniques, including warranties and premiums to attract customers. So, musical instrument and sound equipment are sold in one-year warranty. So, music, instrument, and sound equipment yung uh, subject to warranty. Right? Warranty for replacement of parts and labor. The estimated warranty cost based on past experience is actually 2% of sales. Okay? Next, the premium is offered on the recorded and shit music. Ibig sabihin, for the recorded and shit music naman tayo, mag-offer ng premium. So, for the musical and sound equipment, warranty. For the recorded and sheet music, premium naman. Okay? So, customers receive a coupon for each peso spent no on recorded music or sheet music. So, one coupon kapalit ng piso. Customers may exchange 200 coupons. So, 200 ang kailangan natin. No? And a remittance of 20 pesos for an MP4 player. So, para magbigay tayo ng isang premium, which is yung MP4 player, kailangan magbigay ng 200 coupons and 20 pesos ng customer. Then, Pokemon pays 34 pesos for each player and estimates that 60% of the coupons given to customers will be redeemed. Maliwanag ba yun? So, dito, magkano yung premium expense natin per unit? Well, wala namang other cost, no? So, ibig sabihin, premium expense per unit will now be equal to 34 that's the cost of the premium minus the remittance of 20 or that's equal to 14 pesos kasi wala namang other costs na i-add eh. okay so pokemon total sales for 2026 were 1,115,200,000 pero once again natihin mo yan kasi magkaiba yung subject sa warranty at sa premium so, 86,400,000 daw from musical instrument and sound reproduction equipment, yun yung pang warranty, no? And 28,8 for or from the recorded and sheet music, yun yung pang right, premium naman. Maluwanag ba? So, dito, before natin i-continue yung problem, eh, sagutan na natin kung magkano ba yung right, warranty expense at premium expense natin since kaya na naman na natin yung compute So, warranty expense muna, no? So, here, sales natin kasi dyan nakabase will be how much? Well, sales from the music, uh, musical instrument and sound reproduction equipment is equal to 86,400,000. Imumultiply ng natin yan dun sa 2% because based on past experience, 2% of sales yung warranties. No? So, the warranty expense now, once again, the warranty expense now for the year 2026 will be how much? That's 86,400,000 times 2% or this is equal to 1,700,000. 28,000. Okay? Now, compute din natin yung premium expense per unit. Paano nga ulit yun? Well, compute mo muna yung estimated premiums to be distributed, no? As a result of current year sales. So, here, sales natin, right, is equal to, magkano? 28,800,000. Ang usapan natin, for each peso spent, no? On recorded and sheet music, the customers are entitled for one coupon. So, since 28.8 million ang nabenta natin or na-receive natin from customers, 28.8 million coupons din ang ating nabenta or pinamigay. Kaso, ang inaasahan natin, lang natin bumalik based on past experience is 60%. So, number of coupons now expected to be received will be ilan lang? 28.8 times 0.6 or this is equal to 17,280,000. We good? Ilan yung number of coupons Again, ilan yung number of coupons required in exchange of one premium? Well, sabi natin kapat 200 coupons eh. So, divided by 200 ngayon, ang inaasahan ngayon natin ma-distribute uh, ma na coupons or na MP4 player will only be equal to 86,400. So, number of MP4 player to be distributed, no? again, to be distributed as a result of current year sales will be equal to 86,400 units. We're good. 
na compute natin or na compute na pala kanina no yung premium expense per unit that's 14 pesos so kayang kaya na ngayon nating ma-compute yung premium expense natin no so premium expense will now be equal no to 86,400 times the premium expense per unit which is equal to 14 pesos or this is equal to how much 86,4 times 14 this is equal to 1,200,000 9,600. May banag. So, before natin i-continue yung problem, no? tingnan muna natin yung mga requirement. So, here the requirement is the compute for the amounts to be presented on the 2026 is, ah, financial statements of Pokemon Company. Okay? So, here number one will be the warranty expense. Magkano nga ulit yung warranty expense? That's 1,728,000. Ibig sabihin, requirement number one, alpha will be our final answer. Okay? Number 3, premium expense. Magkano premium expense? 1,209,600. That's why requirement number 3, alpha pa din yung ating huling kasagutan. No? Number 2, provision for warranties. Number 4, inventory of MP4 players. The number 5, provision for premium claims outstanding. No? So, paano nga ulit? Computing yung mga yan. Well, number 2 muna tayo. Pa, paano yung kinocompute? Well, start tayo sa estimated warranty liability at the beginning i-add nga natin diyan yung ating warranty expense na na-compute which is equal to 1,728,000 then i-deduct natin diyan yung actual warranty cost incurred so minus the actual warranty cost incurred then apparently that's it no that's already the estimated warranty liability at the end of the year wanag Now, number 2, paano po kinocompute yung number 4? Uh, number 5 number muna. Number 5. Number 5, paano yan kinocompute? That's the provision for premium claims outstanding. Same lang. So, start tayo sa estimated premium liability at the beginning if meron mang given. I-add natin dyan, no? Yung premium expense natin during the year which is equal to 1,209,600. Then, i-deduct natin dyan yung premium distributed. Okay? Then, that's it, no? That's already the estimated premium liability at the end of the year. Okay? Then, finally, number 4. Papaano kinocompute yung number 4 na yan? Well, start tayo sa beginning inventory, no? Beginning inventory of premiums. I-add natin dyan yung premiums purchase during the year. Then, i-deduct natin yung premiums distributed during the year, no? Then, that's it. That's already the premium inventory at the end of the year. Nagkakaintindihan ba? Pero yung premium distributed dito sa number 5 is different, ha? Sa premium distributed natin dito sa number 4. Because dito sa number 5, ang ginagamit po natin will be the premium expense per unit. Pero dito sa number 4, That will only be the cost of the premiums. Anak. So, let's continue the problem. Replacement parts and labor cost or, or labor for warranty work totaled 2624 during 2026. So, actual warranty cost incurred is 2624. So, lalagay ko dito 2,624,000. So, 2624. Okay? Next, a total of 104,000 MP4 players used in the premium program were purchased. So, purchases yan, no? So, if cost of the premium is 34, magkano ngayon yung premium purchase natin? 34 times, ilan na nga ulit yung binili natin? Bumili tayo ng 104,000. So, premium purchase is equal to how much? 34 times 104,000. Or this is equal to 3,536,000. Okay? No pang sabi ng problem? And there were 19,200,000 coupons redeemed during 2026. Okay? So, if coupons redeem, again, coupons redeem is equal to 19,200,000. And the uh, number of coupons, no? And the number of coupons required in exchange of one premium is equal to 200 coupons. See to it now, nakapag pinag-divide mo yan, makukompute natin yung actual premium distributed during the year. So, ilan yung dinistribute natin premium during the year? That's 19,200 divided by 200 or that's equal to 96,000 premiums. So dito sa premium 
inventory at the end, see to it na 34 po ang gagamitin natin. That's the cost of the premium, no? Plus other cost if meron. Then times 96,000 kasi yun yung number of actual, actual premium distributed. Pero dito sa number 5, that's the estimated premium liability at the end. Ang gagamitin po natin will be the premium expense per unit which is 14 pesos. So magkaiba, no? So 14 times 96,000 tayo dito. So magkano muna yan? 14 times 96,000 this is equal to 1,344,000. Then dito sa number 4, that's 34 times 96,000 or this is equal to 3,264,000. Okay? Ano pa yung mga given? The accrual method is used by Pokemon to account for the warranty and premium cost for financial reporting purposes. The balance in the accounts related to warranties and premiums on January 1, 2026, so beginning balances, no, were shown below. So, inventory of premium MP4 players is 639,200. So, ilalagay ko dito, beginning inventory, 639,200. Okay? Provision pro for premiums claims outstanding, 716,800. So, beginning estimated premium liability natin will be how much again? 716,800. And then lastly, ano pang given? Provision for warranties, that's 216,800. So, ilalagay ko dito, 216,800. Anag. So, kayang-kaya na ngayon nating masagutan lahat kasi kumpleto na eh. So, number 2 muna tayo. That's 2176-800 plus 1728 then minus 2624. This is equal to 1,280,800. So, requirement number 2, delta will be our final answer. Again, requirement number 2, delta will be the final answer. Okay? Next, number 4, inventory of MP4 players, that's 639,200 plus 3536, then minus 3264, or this is equal to 911,200. So, requirement number 4, delta will be the final answer. Okay? Then, number 5, magkaning estimated premium liability at the end, that's 716,800 uh, plus 1209,600, then minus 1,300,000. 44,000 or this is equal to 582,400. Okay? So, requirement number 5, Bravo is now our final answer. Again, requirement number 5, Bravo will be the final answer. Okay? So, that's all for premiums and warranties. Hopefully, no, after this video, eh, master mo na or right natutunan mo na kung papaano ba magsagot ng premiums and warranties. Maluanag ba? So, thank you guys for supporting our channel, no? our little channel. Kahit na sampu lang ang maging viewers natin or maging views natin, okay lang, right? I will still give my 100% for those 10, 10 students na nanonood sa atin if sampu lang, no? Pero, please guys, para makatulong din tayo sa iba, please share this video to others, especially to your classmates and friends. Maliwanag ba? So, thank you so much once again for watching our videos. Take care, guys, and God bless. Bye-bye, guys.